Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Scarefest 2022. The entrance for House of Monsters for of my first ever scare maze, Scarefest 2017. Welcome to a very cold and wet Scarefest opening morning. This is the first day of Scarefest this year. Can't blow away. Now today we are here at Alton Towers Scarefest for the first weekend, well it just just for the Saturday of 2020. What a time to be back at Scarefest. The reason why I've got my camera in the car, which if you know me, I never really do on my vlogs, is because I wanted to uh, talk about something different. Express parking's brilliant for whether you don't fancy walking or the queues are massive on the monorail and you'd just rather get straight to the park because the express parking is literally right next to the gates to get in. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do, where to go for express parking. Chinook. Long queues heading down now, but as you can see, we're just heading up the road. So we've just entered the main entrance. And what you want to do is you want to go a little bit up this road and then you'll get to express parking. And I'll show you the exact point where you want to turn in. So as you can see here, you've got the express parking ticket on your phone and you can actually add it to your Apple wallet, but because my mum bought these tickets, uh, it's just on a screenshot, which you also can do. And there's a barcode just underneath that. I'm obviously not going to show you that, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you buy an express parking ticket and what to look out for. Also, you do get a discount for Merlin annual pass holders. So I think it's £15 for non uh, uh, Merlin annual pass or Alton Towers season pass holders. But if you do have a pass, it, I think it's only £12. Once again, double check on the website. As always, going to leave the Alton Towers website in the description so you can have a look for yourselves. But we're about to turn in. So as you can see, we've got this little gate here. Um, that leads up to the main car parking entrance. But yes, I'm going to have to get my uh, my barcode ready on my phone but it, it says here drop off point as well if you are coming by yourself if you're getting dropped off by family or friends uh, then the drop off point is also in here but we're about to turn in there's a man at the gate and we're gonna show our express car parking ticket so just to explain how sure the walk is to the car park this is the car park and that just there is the entrance so you literally just walk down here and you're straight at the entrance. How amazing is this? So the first thing that you get upon arrival at the park is this little leaflet. Here we go, so we've got brand new for this year, the invitation, the attic, Altonville Mine Tours, Darkest Depths, Trick or Treat Town, The Dungeon, Whispering Souls, and then on the back, you've got all the shows, so like The Freaky Five, Patches Trick or Treat Party, The Alton Ancestors, you've got CBeebies Land at Monsters Ball for the little kids, and uh, I just thought I'd quickly say about these scare attractions today, that they are all apart from, no, all of the thrilling frights are all recommended for 12 years plus. So I believe it used to be 15, but now they've recommended it. This is a recommendation uh, of 12 plus. So I think you can go, um, you can take younger kids in there, obviously not toddlers or anything, but um, yeah, the recommended age is 12 plus. But if your child's not scared of anything and he's a little bit younger or she's a little bit younger or they're a little bit younger, then you can probably take them in. Just going to take a quick trip into Towers Trading Company to see what they've got for Scarefest. So coming up the stairs, they've got 
quite a big collection this year. They've got one, two, three, four, five. So they've got the whole of the Freaky Five here for once. You never see all of them together. You've got a spooky magnet set for the little ones to enjoy. So this is very much the kids section. Even kids t-shirts here, how much is that? 18 pounds for your kids t-shirts. And the plushes are 16 pounds. You've got a nice Halloween top, uh, 20 pounds as you can see, or maybe you can't see, sorry, on the price tag. You've got the brand new Scarefest mug this year of the Smiler. That's lovely. Um, I'm actually quite a big fan of that one. You've got the magnets, which are five pounds. So the mugs are 12 pound. The magnet's five pound. And there's also another mug as well. I believe these ones were here last year though. Uh, is there anything I've missed? The beanies. The beanies and the jumpers. Let me try and find a price for them. Adult beanies are 12 pounds. Uh, not got a price for the jumpers though. And if you fancy some Halloween treats, you've got chocolate lollipops, spooky biscuits. Spooky biscuits are four pounds. Chocolate lollipops are two pound fifty. And of course, everything in this shop is Merlin Annual Pass discount. So if you've got a Merlin Annual Pass, you get stuff a little bit cheaper. And by a little bit cheaper, I mean a whole twenty percent off. So I always say it's definitely worth it. If you're going to Alton Towers or anywhere that's a Merlin place, three times I think that you should just get a Merlin Annual Pass because it is good value for money. Anyways, let's head out of the shop. Let's see what we do next. This vlog is moving very quickly, but first ride of the day, Wicker Man. Good, good choice. Literally, it's like 20 to 11 in the morning, um, but this is a 60 minute queue and we've got Trick or Treat Town booked at 12. So as soon as Rough Wicker Man, we're going straight to our first Scarefest attraction of the year, which is Trick or Treat Town, which for this year is sponsored by Haribo The Sweets. Very cool, but yes, let's get some off-ride shots of Wicker Man. So as I already said earlier, Halloween is starting early in the day for us as we take a walk to Trick or Treat Town. I thought I'd just quickly add uh, when I keep saying we. I'm here with my dad for the first time this year. Um, I'm the only one with an annual pass now. The rest of my family uh, decided not to renew this year. So um, I've used the kind of share the fun um, which is, if, if you don't know what that is, if you've got a Merlin annual pass, you've got these little vouchers where you can bring people in for, for quite cheap with these little vouchers, but there's a big queue for Trick or Treat Town already. But this is uh, the children's attraction. So younger kids um, can, can go in this attraction. You do have to pay on top. It is 12 pounds uh, normal and 20% off for Merlin annual pass, but it looks phenomenal and as I also said earlier sponsored by Haribo so hopefully we'll be getting lots of yummy Halloween Haribo treats I am very excited for this we've got about 15 minutes to go but if you do want to buy your tickets then here is the QR code to scan. Anyways, let's go in Trick or Treat Town, sponsored by Harry Bow. out of Trick or Treat Town, the second year of it being here, and we have got a quarter of a bag full of Haribo sweets. So, the premise of it is you knock on different doors, if nobody answers the door, you move on to the next one, it's as simple as that. Most of them give you treats, and some of them give you tricks. We got squirted with a water pistol, and we also got a foam ball lobbed at us. How very rude, but the rest give us Haribo. So my personal favorite is the mini strawberries. Love the mini strawberries. But yes, Trick or Treat Town is a fantastic addition. I think it's great for the whole family. I mean, me and my dad going, I'm 16, my dad is 
quite old and um, we both enjoy it still even though one of the actors asked are we a bit too old to be doing this which the answer is yes but we thoroughly enjoy Trick or Treat Town now let's continue on with the day to get straight inside the building at Gangster Granny straight away is brilliant I mean even the other side doesn't have it it's just the photo opportunity that's holding us here but they've changed the barriers these used to be just glass but now they are wood but we're about to enter Gangster Granny the ride can I just say this meal is absolutely brilliant it was saying that it was meant to come at quarter past two when did we uh, when did we order it just say? Uh, 20 minutes. Yeah, it's literally took 20 minutes. So it came half an hour earlier than expected. Absolutely fantastic. I've gone for the steak and ribs combo. I've got some onion rings, I've got some chips. I'll do a, I'll do a little bit of a taste test of the chip. Exquisite, absolutely lovely. Standard theme park chips, really. I'll, I'll do a quick, do a quick rib. Why not? That them ribs are flipping nuts. Right. Have the ribs at Alton Towers, they're grand. And I've legitimately not tried this chip. Flip me, Nora. This looks a bit tough to get into. Flip me. I don't think this will be that nice. Cold. Cold chicken. So we've got like, and the onion rings were nice as well. I've already tried them. So one, two, three. Three out of the four things were lovely. Chicken lets it down. That's the Hadley Pearson Food Review, the Scarefest 2022. I've stayed behind just so I can, uh, I can vlog me just walking through the exit. But wow, to say that it's been uh, closed all year, they've fully revamped it. So it's like, the way that the ride works, I think if you know, you know. I'm not going to spoil it for you if you haven't rode it, but the side bits, and then once again, if you know, you'll know what the side bits are, they now light up. And it looks like the tree is getting like power thrown into it and magic thrown into it. It's almost like the Earl science has has constructed this ride and it's it's utterly brilliant. Now I'm a little bit nervous walking into this outside bit as the uh, the last year's Scarefest vlog, my dad started throwing stones at me. Now if you actually want to know where this do you lob a stone at me? Do you lob a stone at me? <laughs> He's just, he's lobbing stones at me. Oh, oh God. Um, which, <laughs> which wasn't the greatest. But yeah, I'm very, I'm very happy that Hex is back. Um, if you've not rode it yet, or you've never ridden it in your life, definitely do. Oh, he's tying his shoelace up. I got worried then, I thought he was hiding from me. Definitely, definitely ride it. It is, it, it is, you must, you must at Towers. It never has a queue, which a lot of you people all appreciate. We all love a ride with no queue. Its storytelling is brilliant. If you love like movies and cinema, that's essentially what the ride is. It's just one big movie. And it's got that sense of realism to it. You, you kind of believe everything that's happening in the ride. You believe everything that they're saying. Oh no, oh no, oh my God. <laughs> Of that what the hell the size of that that could have genuinely really injured me my god anyways I, I think we should move on to the next thing before my dad hits me again just thought I'd quickly tell you tricks of the trade uh, behind me in that basketball right the man said uh, for ten pounds you can have you can have the dog so uh, what they do is in the morning they, they basically make it easier to win so then people all day have to carry around these big dogs so like young children go and they'll go oh look mum and dad look there's a, there's, a, there's a cute dog I really want to win that dog and then later on in the day they try and win them and obviously that's when they start rigging them and that's when it becomes a scam so don't fall for the scam 
I do, theme park magic. What? Theme park magic? Yes. <laughs> well, that's that's one and done today. <laughs> they are proper excited to be here, aren't they? Oh, we've actually got all the shows here. So if you want to scan for yourself, here's the QR code. Pause the video now. But here's all the shows and all the times. You've got Art and Ancestors Final Haunt at 6 o'clock, Patch's Trick or Treat Party, Phil's Halloween Dance Party, Sinbin, a Hell, a Mortel. There we go. Uh, apparently they were there last year at Alton, but they had a lot of troubles involving COVID and health issues. Uh, so ho hopefully they'll, they'll be here for the whole Halloween this year. A vintage Halloween, dance and sing along to Halloween classics. So that's basically just a throwaway show. But no, look, it looks very cool. Hopefully uh, catch one of these shows, if not most of them. But yeah, we're gonna continue down here. It is about quarter to 4pm today on Saturday the 8th of October and I'm about to head into my first scare maze, the attic, five pumpkin rating maze, incredibly scary. I've got Merlin Pass so I get a discount on this one but let's head into the attic. Heading into the attic, taking the long walk down the beautiful Towers Conservatory here. We're about to present our tickets and then hopefully go in. Listen to that violin play this beautiful music as we walk across this beautiful conservatory. I mean what a beautiful place to have a queue for a scare maze. Arguably one of the most scariest mazes at Alton Towers. If you're petrified of things that are quite Victorian and old fashioned, then you'll definitely find the attic scary. And by the looks of it, we are walking straight in. Now I'm about to to head into the conservatory but I will share my thoughts as I get out but once again for 2022 here we are at the attic just through them curtains we have just left the attic as you can see here the stairs my gosh that was the best run through I've ever had on it I'm genuinely gonna say this I started doing scare mazes in 2020 which meant that everyone was very limited of what they could do because of the whole touching and the social distancing but this year was insane me and my dad got touched so many times the jump scares were brilliant so what we've started doing is we've kind of started taking everything in as you can hear the screams there we've started taking everything in so we're going at a slower pace and because of that we're getting greater jump scares trust me visit the attic incredible so we are swiftly moving on to a maze that in the past couple of years I've slandered a little bit. I've said it's been quite weak, but apparently this year it's super scary. It is. Darkest depths. Don't trust no one. And we're about to head in right now. All the spooky pirate barrels as we're walking down. They've also got a new roof, which nobody really cares about, but I just thought I'd uh, add it as a little detail. Got that, whatever that is. Got this, whatever this is. I'm just, I'm just waffling at this rate. Here we go. Oh, the music's playing now. Here it is. The smugglers in darkest steps this year let's go so we've just came out of darkest steps wow it was 
quite scary this year. Quite a good few jump scares. Um, quite a flipping massively tall actors. There was one guy that was breathing in my dad's ear that was six foot whatever, but he was massive, but phenomenal. I always think that this is one of the best mazes in terms of set design. It always looks really cool. Like I was saying, it smells like chlorine in there. It smells like water. It smells like you're you're on a boat and you're in the sea, and that's exactly what it is. A classic pirate tale of a siren and a kraken. Superb. Just superb. My favourite part though was an act to bless him. I was just trying to speak to a member of staff. Realised that we were there, so got back into character straight away and gave us a nice big jump scare. But amazing work as always. Let's get on to Dill Mind Tours. love how spooky these mines are. I mean, look at this queue, it's in darkness. You've got the little mine here, the little underground bit. Legend of the Skin Snatch. <laughs> oh, and just this bit. We're gutted because, in a weird way, the queues have been so short that we've just lapped through them. So it's not as uh, dusk as we thought it'd be for this. But I can't wait for this camera to pick up this theme in as we get here. Here we go. Here we go. And we've entered the world of the mines. Behind me is Oltonville Mine Tours, back for its however many years that it's been here. And I'm going to join the trend in saying that this should probably be its last year. I used to love this maze and it's still brilliant, but the ending today was not fantastic. Um, the whole maze was full of jump scares and it was wicked and then the ending had nothing. The, the last two minutes was literally no actors, just kind of walking around and then they just kind of, there was two actors at the door that just went by. <laughs> that was it, that was it. So I definitely put Attic at the top, Darkest Depth second, and probably this at the bottom. But we've still got one more scare attraction to go because it's not a maze, it's an attraction. And it's an audio attraction, the invitation. This is spooky in different levels. Wow. This is slightly petrifying. Anyways, time to head in. I'll give you my review after. So, we've just came out of the invitation. Um, I feel like that's gonna be a very Marmite attraction. You're either gonna love it or you hate it. I found it different. I think is the best word for me to use. I think that they could have done a lot of things differently. They could have done a lot of things better. Um, but since the first year, I thought it was fine. It was a unique attraction. Much like Devon Brown at Thorpe Park, you know, you've just got to really let yourself get into the story, let yourself understand the story, and then I'm sure it's fine. Um, once again, the finale just felt a bit sudden. I think that's a recurring theme now. Two out of the four, so that's half of the attractions, kind of the ending was, uh, was very random. But <laughs> lovely to see you as well. Stop it. <laughs> Legend. But they also have feedback forms uh, behind here. So if you do visit it and you want to write some feedback, feel free to. Um, the guy that did say hello though, 
best part of the bit, in my opinion. Um, so his job was basically, as you're waiting in the queue, to keep you entertained. He did just that. He knows a lot of facts, he knows a lot of puns. Funny bloke. And uh, yeah, genuinely though, the actor of that has been at Alton Towers for uh, at least a couple of seasons now. Every time I've interacted with him, no matter what character he plays, just brilliant, hilarious. So credit to that actor. Credit to this for, for being something different. I know that Thorpe Park also has one of these. So uh, I hope that, that that one's good. I'm not gonna visit it, but please do let me know in the comments. And that's all for the invitation. So that is it for Alton Towers Scarefest this year. We didn't get to see the ancestors this year, unfortunately. We didn't get to see any of the shows, which are usually my two favorite parts, but all the scare mazes were very decent. Once again, my favorite was the attic personally, but do let me know what you think in the comments. Anyways, I've been Theme Park Magic, the only channel here on YouTube that doesn't force you to know facts or statistics. And I'm signing off.